Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, uh, Power Expertise. So today we are going to learn like how we can create forms, views on top of a table. So let's get started. So you can come to Dataverse and uh, in recommended, these are the uh, portal created uh, tables, which you can leverage if it fulfills your requirement. Otherwise, you can always create uh, your new table from the new table tab. And once you create your table, the two table partners and users. So I will explain you like how these table are interlinked. So I'm creating a food delivery portal. So let's see like how this portal uh, partner and customer ta user table is uh, interrelated. So I'll explain you like how. So see, this is a user table. Users table. Okay. And this is my partner table. One more table also I will create not now, but in the coming videos. So that will be my customer table. So as of now, I have only two tables, users and partner. And the third table, which I will create in the later videos. So this is the custom, that will be my customer table. So this partner and uh, user table is linked, have a relationship, one is to N. Okay. So one user can have many customers and one user can have many partners also. So in the food delivery, like it, let's take an example of Zomato food delivery app where a partner, a delivery partner can come to your house to deliver food, but the same person can also order food for himself. So that is the reason I created two tables. One is a partner who is going to deliver food at your doorstep. Another is customer who will leverage the food delivery app to order food. And there will be one more. Uh, I will add here. And I'll give name as partner as well as customer. So there will be one column in the user table which has user type, which is a choice column and that too is a multi-select. So a user type can be partner or customer and can be both. Okay, so let's get started with the creating views or forms on the top of our table. So here you can see all the columns by coming under columns. And relationship, if I want to show you the relationship between user and my partner table. So here you can see partner user has one is to many relationship. A user have, one user can have many partner. Let's say a food delivery app that is Zomato have n number of delivery partner in Bangalore. Rajiv, Ravi, so met so many people who are delivering food for Z Zomato app for us. Okay, so that that relationship I described here as one is to any relationship. So this is how the user table and partner table is linked. You can see under relationships. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a view. So some of the view a portal will give us by default. You can make changes in the existing view, or you can create a new view at any time by clicking on new view button. So what I will do, I will leverage this active users only, default view only, and I can make changes here. So user ID created on, I don't want to see it in my view, so I will remove it. I just want to see user type, I'll click on here, it will automatically drags to my center panel. I want to see the status, whether my user is active or inactive, that also I want to see. And 
and username also I want to display in my view. Okay. What else I want? I want only these four columns to be displayed in my view. And if you want a related column also, you can always come here and see like uh, this modified by is, a, is coming from user table. Uh, relationship like I will show you in the partner table how it is coming the related one in the partner table like how we have linked one too many uh, relationship between the users so at that time I will show you now we will save this view and I will publish now it is published and here you see filter by status is active, which I don't want. I don't want any default filter to be applied on my any of my columns. So I will just remove it. Or if you want, you can keep it, apply any of the filter here. Okay. So there is no filter. You can come here and see. And if you want to add, you can add at any time. Okay. I don't need it. So I'll just, you know, make it like I just removed it as an active user only. I'll again publish it because I made the changes. Once this is done, we will go and create a form on this users table. Okay, this is done. Now we'll go back in the users and we'll create a form. So these are the default form available for us, but we can create our own form uh, if you if you want, so what I will do, I will create a new form, new main form. So the window is ready. We can click on this, and uh, we can see like how we have in a model driven app. The same look and feel you can observe here. And don't worry if you don't know what is Canvas or Model Driven App. Uh, don't worry, you will get used to it when you start using the portal. You will be able to, you know, grab the thing very easily. But yeah, for the, for the users, for the developers who are already aware of Canvas and Model Driven App, this will be very easy for them. You just, they just have to get... Uh, handy with the features available for portal and pages it would be very easy for them to use so we'll see what are the default uh, fields it gave us so you owner as we don't want to show the owner to the end user so we will hide this we will so i want to hide this owner so i will just click on it and you can you know ask a question like why uh, we can delete this from this uh, form if we don't need it or if we don't want to show it to the end user. We simply go and delete it. But that is not the case. You cannot delete any of the field which is mandatory. So as you can see here, there's an asterisk red mark on the user ID and owner that has to be there in your form. Okay. And if you want to show or hide, you can simply hide hide it. You cannot delete. So if, if if I want to delete, go and delete. See, you will get a uh, dialog box saying that the required field cannot be deleted. Okay. So we will keep it as is. We just simply hide it. Now, what else I want to show? So in my form, I will go into the form field. I will select the user type and user status. Okay. Uh, if I want to change it, the formatting into three columns, see. Now I will simply drag it here and drag this one. So next to it, we are satisfied. We just simply publish it. But if you, if it like there will be a horizontal uh, scroll bar for my client so I don't want that to be happen so you can change it you can come here in the formatting and always change it to the desired form column settings now I made it as a three column so you can see the width get increased so we will see in the portal 
UI part, how it is coming as. So we'll simply publish this form. So coming to our partner table, we'll do the same things like creating a view and a form for partner. So I'll click on views. Here also some default views are available. So we'll make changes in the active partner view only. And here I will show you how related column from the user will be rendered in the partner view. So I don't want this created on, so I will remove it. I want the partner user. I want partner price rate. I want its currency. I want to know the status. And now coming to the related column here, you can see users, which I was talking about when we are creating user uh, view. So here we can have that uh, column like user ID. So this is how we can get like the related column from the users table. So username also, if you want, we can get it from there. So see, username, user ID, these all are coming from the user table. So coming to the related tab, you can come and uh, pick up any of the column which you want from the users table. Now this is done again here, filter is applied. I will remove the filter because I don't want any filter to be applied to any of the column. I click on publish. Okay, so this is published. So to render this form into a portal page, we have to have three steps. One, to create a table, then create a form on the table. And third step would be create a basic or an advanced form. Okay. Just to give you an overall view, you need to have a table. Then you need to have a form and a view on the table. Then you have to create a basic form or an advanced form. And that I will help you out how you have to create these three. And then you can go ahead and go into your portal app and then just configure this basic or advanced form. Okay. So we will learn that in our next video. Till then, be happy and be safe. If you like this video and if you want to learn more uh, video on Power Portal and Dataverse, just subscribe to my channel and like my video if you like the content. Thank you. Till then. Bye-bye.